The next show I want to talk about, mm -hmm. dare I say, my favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> the next show I want to talk about, which has nothing to do with history, God. <laughs> Hello, Nadia. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You know who else didn't expect to see me here? Kenny. Did you like it? I love that you got into the kitchen. Stop it. Let One day you'll make a, a man very, very unhappy. <laughs> and welcome to the second episode of What's Up Turkey. I'm your host, Nadia. And I'm Kenny. And I hope you all had a great New Year's. Nadia. Yes. How was your New Year's? Perfect. I absolutely loved it. I had so much fun with my friends and we partied. It was amazing. How was yours? <sighs> what happened? Just nothing. Oh. Nothing. New Year's always a letdown for me. Always, always. Get ready, go out, have what I think is going to be a fun time. Turns out to be rubbish every single time. Every I, single time. I can't remember the last time I had a good New Year's. I Do think, you think it's maybe related to just who you are? No. <laughs> it's, the other, it's everybody else. It's all seven sure, billion. Sure. I'm fine. Right. <laughs> I went out ready. I bet. Okay. If that's what you say. Uh, yes. Did you make any resolutions? Did you stick to the resolutions? More importantly. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. We shall find out. Mm, that sounds like somebody who has definitely broken their <laughs> resolution. My resolution was to not do one of these shows again. And I've already broken it. Here I am right now. Anyway, we have tons of entertainment news for you tonight yes. and TV shows just yes. coming out of our ear holes. Yes, 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 yes. So because it is the new year, mm -hmm. we kind of wanted to round up 2021 for you through the perspective of Turkish entertainment. Mm. So we have shows to talk about, we have celebrity news, we have tons of things for you today. But before we start, I want to share this information that I don't think everybody knows. So Turkey at present is the second largest exporter of series in the world after the United States. So Germany, France, um, yeah, Germany, France and the UK come what? after. Yeah, yeah. So you get more than 700 million viewers in 150 countries that have interest in Turkish shows. Wow. It's insane. 700 million viewers. It's That's nearly as many as we get. Uh -huh. uh, before we go into the TV shows, let's just quickly give some props to the channels. Yes. Who was the most watched TV channel in all of 2021? Yeah. And drum roll please, Nadia. The winner was TRT1 Woo! come out first. With no surprise, they've been pumping out shows all through 2021. It's the crazy. big hitters, your favorite one, Alpaslan. Be of course. Your favorite show, the one you, because you love the history, don't you, Nadia? I love history. Yeah, she you knows so Let's much about it. Let's just not ask questions about it. No, Moving no, no. on. <laughs> uh, Gunulda, which is a Mountain of Hearts, that was a big one. Yeah. And Teşkilet, yeah. which means Shadow Team. All of these, well, apparently entertained about 700 million around the world. Coming <laughs> second, we had RTV, we had Canal Day after that, and last but not least, Show TV. That's yeah. just the top. Good you for know, them. Yeah. Well done, everybody, on all the shows. Now, getting down to the individual shows, one of my favorites this year, Ooh. Yaga, which means the judgment. Ooh. And, you know, it's pretty close to my heart. It for describes no you perfectly. <laughs> Sorry, what are you trying to say? I'm sorry, Kenny, but you are one of the judgiest people I know. And not in a good way. I, that's just the kind of thing you would say. <laughs> it's typical judging, of you. Be judging, be judging. Typ <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think what you mean is that actually I'm just a great judge of things. I think that's where you go. If that's how you want to get it, you'll go ahead. <laughs> Moving on. Moving so on. the judgment is about an experienced, respected public prosecutor and a feisty young lawyer yeah. and they make a bit of a dream team and they're trying to solve a case and yeah. every time something new comes up obviously it spins the whole story for a loop and that's a big one that one stars Khan Uganja Olu and Pinar Deniz and like I said I'm a great judge so I would suggest watching the judgment I bet it's number one it's number one obviously a lot of people did maybe you have a good judgment who knows <laughs> the next show we want to talk about is Teşkilet, the one you mentioned, or Shadow Team. And it is a first of its kind thriller action show that follows the missions of secret agents working for the Turkish intelligence organization. Yeah, 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 it digs deep and dirty. Nice. Uh, the show is 
filmed in Ankara, the capital of Turkey. And not only that, but it also touches on the emotional side of it. So you see these Asians abandoning their families, leaving their lives, even faking their own death in order to fulfill their duty, which is kind of tragically beautiful, actually. These, I mean, I, I love a bit of spycraft me. So I'm guessing yeah. this isn't quite the James Bond thing. This is kind of the, kind of the opposite. Yeah, it's missions, it's terrorists, it's like full on tech. You go in and you see how they do the whole thing, the whole process. And unlike James Bond, they actually kind of have like a heart and a soul and they, they care I about know. the family. He doesn't care about anybody. He doesn't care about anybody. <laughs> he doesn't care whose toes he steps on. Yeah. The show stars Chalar Ertuğrul, Deniz Baysal and Mesut Akusta. That one, I, I haven't seen that one, but I definitely will because I really love should. Spy. I you love You really should. Spy, I think actually. you'd love it. It's, it's everywhere now. Yeah. Yeah. And these spies, they, they, they should get a bit more respect for the amount that they have to. Anyway, so Nadia, you are, as we've already established, one of the great history lovers living in Istanbul. Why are we going back to that? Because as a history lover, you will adore this program. Ooh. Okay. Now this Hit is... Me. Sorry? Hit me. Hit you. Hit okay, me. ready? Three, two, one. Kuralush Osman. <laughs> Boom. How does that one feel? <laughs> yeah? Wow. Not too bad, huh? So that means establishment Osman. And as anybody who watches shows from Turkey know, this country does a roaring trade in these massive, yeah. huge, historical... They go all the way out for their historic shows. The, yeah. the fight scenes, they're like, it makes Game of Thrones look like a pub... <laughs> A pub fight between two <laughs> morons. This is these are big, full-on action, yeah. sword swinging, knives fighting, all the rest of it. And this is all about Osman's establishment of yeah. the Ottoman Empire, which obviously one of the great historical events. It's about him going all around what then was just a small part of his own tribe that obviously eventually grew out to be one of the biggest Spend. empires the world has ever seen. And this starts some big names. We've got Burak Uzcevit, who is. Osman himself, or Osman Bey. And this is real history here, Nadia. You know this. You know this. You already said it. This is the founding of the Ottoman Empire. Yeah. 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 But the next show I want to talk about, which has nothing to do with history, thank God. <laughs> uh, it's called Sadakatsis, or A Woman Scorned. Ooh. It's I love that name very, very much. I like that. It has power with it. Uh, the show is adapted from a British show. Ooh. It's called Dr. Foster. Yeah. I know Dr. Foster. Really? Yeah, I it, do. Yeah. Really? Because it's not like the type of show that you would usually watch. Well, I didn't watch it. Oh. But I knew of it. You knew of it? Yeah. Okay. So what, this sorry, just massive difference in the name there. Dr. Foster. Uh, Doesn't lame, mean it. Well, lame. Lame. And then you get Woman Scorn. That is really cool. That's such a cool name. Yeah, they did a better job with the name. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So, so the, tell me about it. Yeah, I'll tell you. This show is about Dr. Asya, played by John Suderi, and how her life turns upside down as she discovers her husband's infidelity. And then there's something wrong. You guessed it. Yeah. Um, so it has jaw-dropping moments. And let me say this. I've seen this show everywhere. I've seen it on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. I've seen clips of it, memes. It broke the internet, not only in Turkey, but all around the world. It was sold to 65 countries aired on HBO Max Latin America, and broke a historical record in Spain for holding the first spot prime time for weeks. So it is a historical show. In a way, in it a made way. history. It made history. It made like, history. Yeah, it wasn't charting history, it was making history. It was making history. I am, Nadia, I am sold. I will be watching that show. I'm going to be taking tips on how to avoid being scorned. <laughs> And being caught when you're too. <laughs> yeah, and, th and give me some real good tips on how to get away with it. Because it's not about not doing it, it's about not getting caught. And there you go, a lesson from the master. <laughs> That's not true, I don't, I'm a good, I'm good at everything, yeah, I don't get in trouble with anybody. And speaking of not getting in trouble, ah. speaking of not getting in trouble, yes. it's called Masumla Apatmana Ooh. on TRT1. Oh. You heard of this show? I, I actually did. I heard of this show, I've heard so many things about it. It's actually pretty popular it's really really famous i'm not surprised everything about it sounds really cool and just like me it's called the innocents yeah says who 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 gives you these names you just give them to yourself and you just walk around they call me the innocent yes, uh, the judge they call me the ladies man the judge at the court said i was innocent which court the big one the Adelaide Saraya, the one in mejdiyeko <laughs> really i had a lot of charges against me and he said innocent 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 <laughs> I really, I really don't believe you. If you think I'm innocent, and you should, put a comment below in support. 
against Nadia, okay? All I'm, right. I'm get, they're going to come, my, these supporters, they're going to come over the hill. You took that so personal. Makes me think, I don't know, maybe I touched a nerve or something. You, your, your opinion of me is so low, it, it breaks my because heart. Because I've known you for four years, I had time to develop this opinion. <laughs> now, you might think I'm a bad guy. I'm really not. But anyway, bad guy or not, this is a great it is. show. It and really it stars is. Burkan Sokolu, Ezgi Mola, yeah. and Merve Dizdar. So yeah. these are some big hitters, some big shows. And you say you've heard about this one. I did, I did. You want to tell me about it? Yeah, it's about, it's about a family. And in a, I'm not going to reveal too much. It's about a family, apartment, mental disorders, love, heartbreak. <sighs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> what, what kind of mental disorders are we talking about? OCD and uh, chronic panic attacks. Mm. All kinds, actually. There's yeah. like... Very topical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very topical. Yeah. Mental health. Make sure, you know, we've all had a... You know, we joke about 2021, but, you know, it's been tough yeah. for a lot, a lot, a lot of people. It really has. You know, and 2020, of yeah. course. So mental health, big... Big thing at the moment, so I'm glad respect. it's getting. I'm glad. I'm glad it's getting the light shed on it. I'm glad people are mentioning it. They're talking about it more. It's becoming more normalized. Absolutely. Yeah. You got anything for me? Uh, so moving on from the TV shows, I want to talk a little bit about the digital shows. So as you know, Netflix it's massive everywhere in the world. Uh, we also have Disney Plus and HBO Max that are coming to Turkey next year. It's really good news. Good news. I'm excited for that. Yes. They have good shows. Um, actually, HBO Max is filming their own original Turkish show already. Yeah, to be released when they come. I'm guessing we'll be talking about that in another episode when you tune in in the future. Yes. Um, I also, uh, also there's Blue TV, which is a Turkish digital streaming service. It's really cool. I'm well acquainted. Yeah. yeah. So, Kenny, do you have any digital shows you want to start with? I certainly do. And you, I think a lot of people will have heard of this. This is no secret. Yeah. This is Love 101. You'll have seen this all over Netflix. This Everywhere. has been massive. Huge. It's a great premise for yeah. anyone who hasn't seen it. So it's a bunch of students who rally together in support of their teacher yeah. and obviously their friendships go through their own trials and tribulations. Really good show. And yeah. that's not my opinion. This yeah. has been massive everywhere. It's the Huge. number one show in Turkey, eh? the second biggest show in Saudi Arabia, yeah. the third biggest show in Kuwait, the sixth Crazy. biggest show in France, seventh biggest show in Germany, ninth biggest in Qatar. It's a massive, massive show. show. And you just need to see one episode to understand why. Yeah. It will yeah. get you. It takes you right back to your school days if you had good school days. And uh, I had a lot of friendships at school, I'll say that. Yeah, And me too. so in that regard, it was... Um, it was the best part of it. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I guess that's why it's popular, because it like, touches on the you know, school friendships and childhood friendships. It's really cute. Exactly. Something everybody can relate to. Yeah. Uh, actually, I do want to mention about that show, Love 101. Mm -hmm. uh, the actress, one of the leading actors, Alina Bos. Yes. She's one of my favorite actresses. Me too. She's so talented. At 23 years old, she has done so much. She's only 23. She's only 23. It makes me feel bad about <laughs> my life. such a my failure. Life. <laughs> such a failure. All my teachers were right. I know. She's absolutely excellent. Her performance was amazing. And she even won uh, the award for um, shining star at the Golden Butterfly Awards last year, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing. Nice. Yeah. Uh, another show I want to talk about is Atiye or The Gift, and it's starting very sad, and it's the story of a painter that goes on this self-discovering journey as she unearths uh, hidden secrets of this historical site. It's called Gebekli Tepe. <gasps> Yeah, uh, it got pretty popular and I think it's because the genre was different. It had like a sci-fi thriller kind of thing with mystery and you don't see that much in Turkish TV shows. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, although I think that's becoming more of a thing, isn't it? I think so. They're like kind of starting that way with Wolf that we talked about yeah, yeah, last yeah. episode and now. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I've seen that show everywhere, by the way. Since I've seen it in Metro. Yeah, I saw it on the side of Akmak. I the know. Day. The um, Gebekli Tepe. The Gebekli Tepe. As, your, you know, as our resident historian, what do you know about Gebekli Tepe? I actually do know. You're not going to get me here. <laughs> Gebekli Tepe is one of the... No, it's not one of. It is the oldest temple in the world. It's been built 1,200 years ago. Yeah, and yeah. it's in uh, Urfa, Turkey. Yeah. And it is believed to be a social gathering site back then. So they would like all get dressed up and... Very good. Chill. You yeah. are. You are our I resident told you, historian. You're not going to yeah. get me here. Yeah, no, no. I wasn't trying to get you. I, I was, it was. It was a genuine. Really, you weren't trying to get me. You got really no. disappointed when no. I knew. <laughs> yeah. okay. No, that, no, that, no. That's because I remembered I left my oven on at home. Sure. Yeah. It was. You mentioned it. I was like, Oh, the oh, oven. Oh, it's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tiffy reminded you of the oven. Yes, it did. Yeah. No, you. So you've just been talking about show uh, the gift. 
um, unearthing uh, all these kinds of things. And speaking of gifts Ooh. and unearthing. Ooh. What do you got for me? I've got a real good one for you. Yeah. Uh, this is called Hakan Mohafaz, which means the protector. I've seen this, yeah. Yeah. So this is the protector, never going to guess his name, Hakan. And <laughs> he discovers that he has a superpower. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what the superpower is. You'll have to watch it to find that out. Yeah. And obviously, with great power comes great responsibility. He has to learn how to harness it, how to use it properly, and obviously how to use it to protect. Responsibly, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a superhero thing, but obviously a lot more uh, realistic. Yeah. You know, it's not the kind of costumes and the jumping around. And all yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is a massive, massive show. It's gone to 190 countries. That's insane. That's insane. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's only 193 UN countries. So it's basically gone to oh, wow. just about every country in the world. It's been translated into 30 languages. Oh, wow. Maybe more. Uh, this is a massive, massive show. Its first month, it got, I think, 20 million viewers. What? So it's doing all right. That's insane. It's doing all right. It's nearly doing as well as What's Up to Kia. Oh, almost. Almost. They need to like step it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Come on, protector. <laughs> Come on, stop moving a little bit. Show us your superpower a little bit. <laughs> The next show I want to talk about, mm -hmm. dare I say, my favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> this gets the Nadia's favorite klaxon. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia's oh, <my> favorite. <laughs> no, really, it is my favorite show. It's called The Club Kulup. Mm. And it is the story of Matilda, an ex-convict who gets released from jail and her um, basically journey to um, fix her relationship with her daughter that she had to abandon. And as you go, you discover more things about what happened, why she went to jail. But not only that, I love the fact that it's set in the 50s mm. and the entire filming, like the preparation took six months. What? Yes, it's insane. Two to three months of those six months were only dedicated to Issaclaw Street. That explains so much, Nadia, because well, as you know, I live right by Istiklal, yeah, as do yourself. Yeah. And for so long, I kept seeing tons of cameras. I saw people in massive costumes, or not massive, co like uh, eye-catching costumes. Yes, that was and it. And I was like, what, the, what is this show? Oh my gosh, you're one? so lucky that you got to see it. You never oh saw God. it? No, I didn't see it. Oh, you, you missed out. It looked oh, great. Oh, that is so fun. The costumes I wish were... I saw it. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. The detailing, the cars. Just everything about it was perfect. The story is perfect. Of course, I'm not going to mention the performance was just amazing. The show maintained top 10 on Netflix for weeks. Not only that, it scored 8.2 on IMDb. And, and good news for the lovers of the show, me included, the second part will air on January 6th. So I'm very, very excited. Nice. I'm looking forward to that. I'm, yes. at, um, I'm telling this to the viewer, not to you, because okay. you, as a resident historian, you already know this. I know this. Um, Turkish Jewish community are an oft overlooked uh, segment of society, yeah. and an extremely historic one. Yeah. Uh, there's, I mean, it's just to this day, there's still only a few thousand uh, Sephardic Jews that came over from uh, Spain yeah. back, well, straight after the conquest of Istanbul, basically, or Constantinople, as is known then. And they came over during the Spanish Inquisition, and they retained the language that they spoke back then. I even know somebody who speaks Ladino, which is the name of this language, a mixture of Hebrew, Spanish and Arabic. That's amazing. It's amazing. That's amazing. Because when we watched the show, we thought it was Hebrew, but it's just some things didn't click. Yeah. So that's amazing to me. Yeah. And the actress actually had to take lessons um, three times a week for three months. Yeah, she had to take lessons in the language. It's, uh, the dedication is absolutely insane for the show. And that's really important as well, because Sort of as I alluded to, uh, a big part of this community is keeping the language alive. Yeah. And it's usually just done, you know, generationally, yeah. um, such as my friend who learnt it and passes it on to their children because, you know, you've got it's to keep really it alive. Nice. But now there's a TV show that sort of helps to, uh, you know, imprint it oh, a little bit more permanently. I love to see it. It's beautiful. So that's really an amazing show. And I, just like Nadia, I strongly, strongly recommend watching yes. it. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, before we move on, I do want to have two honorable mentions. The first one is Fatma. Gorgeous, beautiful show. I binge watched this show in one night because I have no life. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. I have no life whatsoever. I sat down with my roommate and we watched it and we could not stop. It is so beautiful. The story is amazing. And another show is Bir Bashkader, Ethos. This uh, one yeah. was crazy. Everybody that I know was talking about it. It was like the Squid Games out. of early 2021. Like it was yeah, massive. Everybody was talking about it. And 
you know, my favorite kind of show or movies is when you have different stories that mm. kind of connect through a character or an event. I love that. And this is it. It's like different group of people from different um, life backgrounds and social um, status. And they kind of like have this one common person, which is Mariam, uh, the lead actress. It's a really, really, really good show. I love this so much. So hats off to that show. Yeah. Oh, that was, I mean, honorable mention is not even doing it a service. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a massive show. Gorgeous show. Massive show. Yeah. And I'm an ignoramus. Mm. And I still, still was that. well acquainted with that show. <laughs> now, Nadia, we have Chef Ozan. I don't know what he's going to cook. I'm sure it's delicious. He's the best chef in the world. Nothing can ruin it. Actually, Kenny, I have a little surprise for you. I woke up early today, got all dressed up and dolled up, and I joined the chef to make this meal. By get up early, do you mean you haven't gone to bed yet? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I'm exposed. Okay. But yeah, I'll be joining Chef Ozan today. So let's see what we make. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Nadia. Hello, Chef. I wasn't expecting to see you here. <gasps> Thank you. I guess it's a compliment. <laughs> it is. Uh, you know who else didn't expect to see me here? <laughs> Kenny. Oh, yes. I remember. Last episode, I made a new resolution. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be in the kitchen more. And here I am. I woke up early to join you to see what you're making for us today. You are very welcome. So what are you making? We are going to prepare kumpir. kumpir. It's a Turkish style baked potato, actually. It is very easy to prepare, mm -hmm. uh, but takes a little bit of time because mm -hmm. the potatoes we are using, they are large size. Mm -hmm. So it takes a little bit of time to be cooked. I bet. That's why I already cooked the potatoes before, mm. but I'm going to show you how to prepare the potatoes before we yes. cook it. So they are washed and clean potatoes. Of I will course. have it here. Are you going to? Yes, I'm it. just going to stab some. Oh, be careful. Oh my God. It's enough. Now I just wrap it. In parchment paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. To keep the humid inside. Okay, so it's so, better not to put them without. Yeah. They get dry. Mm -hmm. mm. So then we just wrap it with aluminium foil. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So we're gonna prepare two potatoes. Here again. I just tap the fork. You just tap it lightly, you're not going like deep. No, it's just okay. A bit. Yeah, just a ah. bit. Because I don't want the potatoes get, you know, plump. Mm. So I need to uh, I need to protect the skin. Mm. This is very And we're cooking well. it with the skin. Mm -hmm. We're not peeling anything. No. All right. That's why it's a little bit easy. Mm. Safe time. <laughs> That's it. Nice. Now, I'm going to place them in the oven. OK. So in 200 Celsius degree, it's about like one and a half hour for this size potatoes. So let me take the previous ones I placed here. The cooked ones. Yeah, they must be cooked. And then those babies cook for an hour and a half? Yes. OK. We will check it. How do you check? Do you just like put well, a... If it's tender enough, it, it will be done. OK. It how... must be done. OK. We're going to see like what's the consistency supposed to be like. You Not have eaten mashed soft. potato before, right? Yeah. So it should be Is mashable. mashable. Yes. Mm. All right. While they are resting here, because mm -hmm. they are too hot, mm -hmm. we can't touch inside. Mm -hmm. While they are cooling down there, we're going to prepare the toppings together. All right. What do you say? I'm excited. All right, let's start. Now, this will take too much time. That's why we start with this one first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut this into slices, but let me use some gloves. Otherwise, it will color my hands. I know. <sighs> That's the thing. I hate it. I don't it. like it. Yeah. I know. I love the taste. <laughs> I love the pickled red cabbage, but my biggest problem is how much it stains. Do you yeah. know how many clothes I stain? You can't get rid of it. Like pomegranate. <laughs> yeah. It's like the same problem. So, I'm just going to cut it in the half. Okay. I'm moving back because I'm wearing a white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you can use the pickled one, this. I mean, yeah, pickled cabbage. Yeah, I can cabbage. imagine it would taste so good. But we don't have it. So we're just going to prepare a very quick one. Okay. It's not going to be a pickle, uh -huh. but it could be eatable because mm. this is now, it's very bitter. We need to take the bitterness out of this cabbage. Yeah. So we're going to slice them like this. Kind of. Cabbage is low thin. so beautiful. Yeah. Like the shapes. The shape, the taste, the hey, color. Yeah. Also cut like this. And then, then I, I place them in a bowl. What did you do? Did you put lemon or? 
a little bit lemon juice and salt. Salt. Then I'm gonna rub them. Uh huh. So this mixture will let the bitterness out. Oh wow! I mm -hmm. knew they put salt to get the water out, but uh -huh. I didn't know it takes the bitterness it, out. It, it's working the same pur for purposes actually. Wow. Now I just placed the cabbage here. Uh -huh. I will need the lemon juice. Can you bring it of to me? Of course. She's working. <laughs> <laughs> That's so hard. A little bit of <laughs> lemon juice. It's okay. I'm just rubbing them gently. I'm not breaking them. So I rub the cabbage with salt and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So I will set this aside. Okay. Do you cover it or anything? No, it's okay. No. Okay. I will get it off this clothes. Now, you can grant the cheese for me. I can if do you that. Like. Yes. Then I will prepare a Russian salad here. I will pick the thick one. It's okay. Okay. It's gonna melt. Okay. For tired Russian now. salads. <laughs> Sorry? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use this canned uh, and cooked mixed vegetables with yogurt and mayo. So let's start the mayo and yogurt first. So I just mix them gently, not to mash them. Let me taste. Mm. How is it? Sorry. I did it. <laughs> Good job. Since I ate yogurt and mayo inside this mixture, I need to keep it in the refrigerator because of the food safety. Let me clean this first. Then this goes to the fridge. All right. While it's resting in the fridge, mm -hmm. let's prepare the other ones. Okay. We need to pan fry the mushroom and the sausage. Together so, or? No, separately. Okay, I'll take the sausage. All right. Here's yours. Thank you. <laughs> There's nothing that I can't do. Look, do you see how my is? Yeah, it's good actually. Nice. Let me heat the pan for you. You can use vegetable oil as well, but I prefer butter here. I'm it wearing white. It's the taste. This is a bad idea. What happened, champion? Yeah, but I'm wearing white. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Easy. I did it, though. <laughs> you did it. I think it's done. Yeah. What do you say? Okay. All right. You're the chef. That looks so good. If you like to saute your mushrooms perfectly, you need a really hot pan. You need to start with a very hot pan because more than 90% of the mushroom is water. Mm. So if you if you place them in a cold pan and then start heating, mm. the, all the water goes out. Oh, you get like so, soggy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. I can't stop looking at it. Yeah, you can see the smoke. Really, I can't stop looking at it. It is so cool. That's, it's hypnotizing it's, you. It is, it really is. I'm like, <laughs> it's really smart. Because the nature of the smoke, it goes up. I know, here, right? so it's now you're here, just like... No? What's happening there? The power of the suction. You see the color of the mushrooms here? Yeah. As I told you, I use very hot pan to pan fry them. So the color is golden brown. Mm -hmm. The moisture is keeping inside. Mm -hmm. So it's done. Yes, so that's looks beautiful. Yeah, let's try to look at the color. That's beautiful. <laughs> I close it? No, it closes automatically. Oh. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do now? We have mushrooms here. We have sausages. We have other toppings here. Yes. Now, let's start. Ooh. Yeah, the big job. Yeah. Look. All right. Like so you this. don't open it all the way up? No. Ha has? Yeah, we're gonna keep it whole. Then I just smash it with the oh, that is easy. fork. It is. I told you, it's tender. So I just keep everything inside. Mm -hmm. It is very soft. <coughs> so we're gonna get it creamy. Now, mm -hmm. we will add some cheese inside. My cheese? Yes. You are very generous, by the way. I know. And lots of I cheese. <laughs> Chef said, do it. A little bit butter. Butter. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to mix it until they all get combined. 
Yani inside. Cook. You don't take anything no. outside. Wow. Can you add a pinch of salt for me? Yes. I mix butter and cheese inside until they get melted. Mm -hmm. Now we can use all the toppings and decorate it as the way we like. Yeah. It's up to your imagination. Whatever you like, you can use as a toppings here. You can use metzes, other kind of dried meats or anything. Yeah. It anything. So good. Yeah. Anything. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do so, it. So let's do it. Thank you, chef. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Ah, it looks really delicious. I can't wait to dig my teeth into it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Bon appetit. Did you like it? I I love that you got into the kitchen. Yes. And I told you. Cooking. I know. I told you. I'm so impressed. I, I, I'm not sure you. Chef Ozan could have done it without you. He said the same thing. He said thank. God, Nadia, thank God I joined culinary school and worked for 10 years and you made it all worth it. Yeah. He said that. He's a good liar. He's a good liar. <laughs> I've seen him lie. He's lied to my face. He's lied right up to my face looking me in the eye. I couldn't believe he it. He laughed at your joke, so. He <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me there, you got me there. And I can see, by the way, you know, Nadia, I know she seems like Mrs. Glamorous, but you got some wall wounds from that cooking, no? I did. The tiniest bit of my fake nails, too. And I can't recover from it. Yeah, so I can't wait later. I don't think I'll go into the kitchen ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't, because I was fishing through all of the compere to try and find that bit of broken nail. <laughs> and uh, if, you, if you are the first person to comment on this video, you will get that piece of nail for free. How about that? A gift. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait to try the compere. I can't wait. It's really Looks good. delicious. So I, good. You can't really go wrong, can you, really, with compere? You get the jacket potato and you stuff it with basically whatever it is that you find tasty. It's um, really good. It's filling too. It yeah. Um, and this, I'm going to guess, is the best meal you've ever made. I make a lot of things. That is true, actually. I, I, I joke, is, but this it is, is true. This is like the first ever assistant. I have an assistant from a chef. Oh, Chef Ozan's your assistant, is he? No, no, I, I was assisted, assisted by the chef. I don't mean anything, Chef Ozan. Please have me back again. <laughs> I don't want him to hate me. Stop it. <laughs> Imelda. That was rough. <laughs> Nadia, get it together. Chef Ozan's never going to assist you again if you're, you're going to be like that. Anyway, I'm sure the cup is delicious. Now, we've been talking about TV channels, we've been talking about TV shows, we've been yes. talking about the digital platforms, all the rest yes. of it. Now, let's get down to the juicy stuff. Yes. Yes. Because, th yeah, the shows are great. We all love the shows and yes. all the rest of it. But Give me the it's good the good. celebrities that we're oh, interested God, in. God. It's the gossip we're interested oh, in. Yeah? We are a shallow people at the end of the day. <laughs> we could be as deep as they come. But we still, we're a sucker for those things, We're still we? a sucker for the gossip. Absolute yeah. sucker. And um, Nadia, you are a gossip magnet. Uh, gossip finds you even Wherever before it's happened. Yeah. Yeah, so it lay it on me. What's right been happening? Now. Yes, so first I want to start off with the weddings that Ooh. happened in 2021. Go on. Because I myself hope one day if ever, we'll get married. No, no, dear. Don't dig, don't dig deep. It is a dark, just leave that? it I'll is leave that. dark, leave just leave it. Don't scratch the scars. So, uh, <laughs> I won't say anything at all. Let one just... day you'll make a, ver a man very, very unhappy. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> if it comes with a wedding, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, anyways, I want to talk about the weddings. And the first wedding I want to mention is Tanar Olmas. Uh, he rose to fame with his show Miracle Doctor, and this summer he married his longtime love, Ejit Cheshmiolu. Yeah, they married in the summer, and the cutest news they're waiting a little baby girl. It is so cute. I'm just so happy for them. Next, moving on to another wedding that is worth mentioning is Özge Özbench. Uh, she's one of my favorite actresses. She married her boyfriend of seven years. Seven years. Seven years. That is a long, long time. Yeah, what, what took so long? Dude, after the first month, I'm like... Yeah, where is it? Come on, Come on, get come, it on. come on, come on. But yeah, after seven years, I got married. And Do you mean after seven years, he went, 
Oh, all right, I'll okay, do it. Guess. If you promise to get off my back, I'll do it. <laughs> um, and she uh, gave birth to her first daughter, Marjan, yeah, on December 1st. It's Excellent. really cute. It's oh. a cute little ending. It's really cute. See, it's worth the wait. Now, we love the marriages. Yes. You know, everyone loves a celebrity marriage, all the rest of it. Sadly, this is the real world. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. Now, I'm sure these marriages, they'll last forever. Uh, beyond the grave, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would You're so full of doubt. No, <laughs> with everything, even even these these incredible love matches that you've just been talking about, it's still like nah, they'll be done with it. You never year. know. You never know. You never know. No, I'm sure they're gonna you last know. forever. Yeah. But like I say, this is the real world, and sometimes life gets in the way. Yeah. So we've also had a few breakups recently. Sad face. I had my own big breakup in 2021. I, I know what it's like. Yeah, I know what it's I'm like. I'm sorry, Kenny. I'm about to tell your private news to literally tens of people, but I, I feel your pain, yeah? And the first one, pain I feel, Bensu Sorrell, the actress. Yes. Great actress. Well, after three years, she finally broke up with Hakan Bash, yeah. the businessman. It's time. It's tough. It's tough, three years. But that's a good innings. Yeah, be happy with the three years. I think it's a good number. Yeah, three, three is the, years it's the magic marriage. number. Mm. Um, we have Hadise, the pop singer. Yes, I love her. You love her? I love her. Well, you'd be happy. She's back on the market. <laughs> After two I'm years. Ecstatic. Yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Back on the market. <laughs> Hadise, pop star. She broke up with Khan Yodoram, the actor, after two years. But she's not on the market anymore. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That was so fast. She moved on. She moved on to they a director. They move on like this, man. Hey, when you're hot stuff like that, you don't yeah, hang around. True. She's got with a director, his name is Mehmet Dinchele. Wow, good yeah. for her, good for her. Good for her, good for him. Maybe, you know, hopefully this time next year we'll be talking about... Her, her wedding, that would be cute. Well, that'd be cute, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. um, last, uh, well, actually, because there's actually been a couple, I'm afraid. There's a couple of breakups more, I'm afraid oh, no. to go, yeah. There's it's been no. a rough year for a lot of people. It's been a rough year. You so, uh, do you know Demet Özdemir? Yes, I love Demet Özdemir. Yeah, what shows? I watched her in uh, uh, Chile Kukusu, and it's called Strawberry Smell. Strawberry Smell. I loved her sense, yeah. That's right, she's in Dodo and Ev Kadarin Dev. Ooh. Um, and she with Oz uh, Han Koch, I'm afraid. It's oh, another, no. It's another one gone. I'm oh, afraid. no. Um, now, I said that there was two more breakups. I was lying, there's just one. So oh. that's good news. That is good news, yay! No more breakups. <laughs> And 2022, I'm sure, is going to be a year of no further breakups. If you're in a celebrity marriage, you stay. You stick there, because Kenny said there. so. Listen to Kenny. Kenny knows best. Mm, unless you see me in a bar somewhere and I start talking to you, because then maybe... <laughs> Take the ring off. Hand <laughs> it in the back pocket. <laughs> yes. Uh, but, you know, life is not just about hookups and breakups. Hookups and breakups. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, marriage, hookup. Hookups. Okay, yeah. So actually moving on to more serious things, we've seen celebrities like Jadan Algudar who uh, revealed her cancer diagnosis this year on April 6th. Yeah. Yes, she had to leave her show, uh, called my manager to get an operation. But thankfully, she kept updating her, her fans throughout her treatment and she is now fully recovered and cancer free. Oh, that's good news. It is good yeah. news, it is, but it's yeah, scary. Yeah, you, you went in so no, dark. No, 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 it's just like, it's a scary stuff. And you know, uh, we have an actor, Masoud Akusta, who's filming the show Tashkilat that mm -hmm. we talked about. He suffered a brain hemorrhage during the filming and he had to have uh, an emergency operation. But also, thankfully, oh, he pulled Nadia. through. I'm sorry. You're going to make me ill. I'm sorry. He pulled through and he posted a video on Instagram thanking his supporters and his fans. So happy endings after all. Yeah, That's absolutely. You put me through the ringer. What you could have said is gone, in lighter news, everybody's healthy. But they had the scare, so it's sad in a way. I know, but... No, but it's happy now. But you scared you... me. Each one, I was like, no, that. But don't you love don't... the roller coaster? Of course. Yeah, no, it's all about the roller coaster. And uh, Chog gets me shoulders into all of them. Now, on to something completely different. Um, one of the great things of 2021, yeah. uh, despite, you know, all the awfulness of the coronavirus and everything, a lot of things were opening up. I and know. a big one, if you've been in Taxim Square, which, you know, if you live in Istanbul, you've almost certainly gone through yes. Taxim Square at some point in the year you will have not noticed. It's impossible not to. It's impossible not to notice. The new Ataturk Kultur Merkezi, yeah. RKMA, or in English, Ataturk Cultural Center. Yeah. Now this is a pretty historic building. It's built in 1969 uh, by Murat Tabanoğlu, as I'm sure you know. Of course. And it's been closed for 13 years. Mm -hmm. 
for a long time when I first came here for years I was like what's this huge building and why is nothing going on there yeah. well now it's open again yeah and it looks incredible doesn't it insane it's been under like you said it's been un under construction for like years when I came here it was under construction yeah and then one day I just came out of the metro I looked back and there was this massive building with huge like uh, lights and show lights and stuff and I was like what just happened? I didn't even understand. It was massive. Well, it was the handiwork of Murat Taban Lolu's son, Hayati. Oh my gosh. So there's a nice little bit of symmetry there. And this renovation cost 850 million Turkish lira. Oh my God. Yeah. That and you can insane. tell. insane. You can tell. You can tell by I looking at it. I mean, it looks it's amazing. It's an unbelievable structure. 95,000 square meters. And it's got everything you could want inside there. It's got theatres, cinemas, concert halls, exhibition halls, galleries, cafes, restaurants, you name it, it's all there. It is wow. truly a cultural center. That's and amazing. Badly needed, if I'm honest, badly needed. I think, and it's also the opera house. The opera house, now that's the bit that I'm referring to in terms yeah. of badly needed, because before, there's only one opera house in the whole of Istanbul, in Kadikoy. Oh wow. Really nice, you know, really nice opera house. But for a city the size of Istanbul, with its history, there, with its culture, it's gotta be something a bit more substantial. And it has arrived. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And actually, with the opening of AKM, mm -hmm. there was a festival starting there. It's the Biolo Cultural Road Festival. It was made to liven up the cultural scene in Istanbul. And, and it did. It did. It did. It started at the AKM. It went to Galata Port. If you watch the episode, you'll get this like wink thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it went to Topani onto 64 different venues. 64. It's insane. You had a thousand artists participating, 70 concerts. It was crazy. Well, they know where to pick them because um, my house was surrounded by these cultural events. Really? From north, out, south, east, west. It was oh my God. Because I think they obviously understand that I am the center of gravity when it comes to Istanbul culture. Of course. Yeah. You just, he turns everything we talk about into a compliment to himself. I do. Well, Your ego is <laughs> Out of this world! Nadia, there's a, there's a very simple way of making this stop. Tell me, what? You, you, you've got to give them to me. Because if, if, no. if you're not giving to me, then I have to do them myself. Never! <laughs> anyway, speaking of warm events, also happened in 2021, back in October, mm -hmm. was the Akbank Music Festival, 31st year, keeps rolling on. Oh, this wow. is one of Istanbul's Oh, the, running, the jazz one. The jazz oh, festival. Wow. That's right. Sorry, I forgot to mention. Yes, the jazz festival. Um, if you've never been, I'm sure it's going to be happening again in 2022 Ooh. for the 32nd one. I love there was 100 jazz. performances. This is a real institution now in Istanbul. Yeah. So I think once you pass the 30 year threshold, That's you can start amazing. calling yourself That's an amazing. And another festival that happened was the coffee festival. I didn't. I no didn't one get... slept that night. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I actually really wanted to go, but I didn't get the chance. So I'm thinking, Kenny, maybe next year, if you... It's, I was going to say a date, but it's not a date. But yes, no, 100% I'll be going. <gasps> really? 100%. I really thought you were going to say no. Why would I say no? Oh my God. I have like 19 cups of coffee a day. Okay, deal. Yeah. Oh, shake on it, because I don't trust you. <sighs> shake on it. I don't trust you. You're going to come with me. Shake on it. I can't move any further. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, but the coffee festival uh, on the 7th edition mm -hmm. happened uh, from the 7th to 10th of October. Very close, actually, to the jazz festival. Yes. Yeah. And they had coffee, um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this coffee festival that had... There's coffee. Coffee. It had <laughs> dark coffee. It had light coffee. Light coffee. Middle Colombian coffee. coffee. <laughs> no, they had coffee and... <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> I had coffee treats and workshops. You can make your own coffee. You can learn from the best. We need to make our own coffee. I really, really would love to yeah. lo learn new techniques. And they even had concerts and it was really fun. And I can't wait to go next year with you because you promised. I, 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 listen, I'm a promise keeper and I will be keeping that promise 100% okay. when we go to the coffee okay. festival. Okay, it's a deal. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's it. That We've was everything reached... in 2021. Yes.
That is everything. Nothing else happened in yeah. 2021 except for what we talked about. But that was it. That was our episode. I hope you liked it. And if you have any shows that you watched and you liked in 2021, please comment. We'd love to know. And if there's anything else you'd like us to talk about, again, comment. We'd love to see it. And also, obviously, we're going into 2022 now. So if there's something you feel we should know about that's yes. coming up that's going to be big and important, yes. do let yes. us know in the comment yes, section. Please do. Like, subscribe. Come on, don't just watch for free like some Come on, come on. Put something it's in so it. It's so easy. It's just a click. It's just a click. <laughs> just stop. I can see you now. Put your hand on the mouse. <laughs> click. Down. The no. No. <laughs> Put the coffee down. That's coming later. And you just click like and subscribe. Yes. Comment beneath. Catches for episode three in a week's time. That was WhatsApp to Kie. See you next time. Bye.